Okay, let's go. So this is what the courtroom is like. Just being here causes my body to tense up. I'm shocked that Nijima-san could think of somewhere this solemn as a casino. So Makoto says is that lady who's overflowing with the aura of a capable woman. Mm hmm By the way, what's this trial about? A politician who decided to make personal use of government funds? I read about that in a magazine! He went on a vacation with his mistress to some fancy hot springs. Aren't politicians supposed to be loaded? Why'd he mess with our tax money? people's cash is a total no-go. This may sound odd, but isn't Nijima-san supposed to be busy with our investigation? Does she really have time to be coming to a trial like this? Supposedly, she was on this case before being assigned to the Phantom Thieves. Normally, another prosecutor would take her place, but... Sai-san can be a bit of a perfectionist. Hey, how are we gonna get Nijima-san to notice us? Did you tell her we'd be coming? I don't think she read the message, though. Do we have a backup plan? Not exactly. But I'm sure she'll notice us eventually. Hmm? I noticed a lot of students here, but is that a Ketchikun? And Makoto? Now that I think about it, there was a message about her coming. That doesn't matter for now. See? It's almost time to begin. All right. Nijima can see now that we're allowed in the courtroom. This should let us enter that high limit thingamajig. Let's head over to her palace once the trial's over. Stay in the bag, damn it!
Joker. This is Will Seed. I'll be taking this. This is. The last will seed. Sorry, sis, but I'm taking it.
Our range of tactics is expanding. Focus. I will deal your truth for
Okay. Let's go.
begin our serious one-on-one -on -one battle. Bring out the first contestant. Uh, what the hell? There's two of them. This isn't one-on-one -on -one at all. They're just ignoring the rules right from the beginning. Now then, it's time for this hellish trio of battles to begin. Ready, set, go! Avoid using wind and don't let your guard down. Let's go. Snap. Ooh, Joker, you're looking cool. Sona. Go down. Before. How cowardly! There's nothing fair or honest about this! Quiet down in the peanut gallery! Now it's time to die in this blood-curdling battle! Once again, justice prevails. The, the, the payout will be handed over after this. Uh, please wait. Congratulations. Here's your reward. 100,000 coins. Oh, shit! That was freaking amazing, Joker! You were incredible! They never even planned on giving you a fair fight in there. Yes, I expected that would be the case. Our other trials have been rigged as well, after all. So you sent Joker in knowing full well the possible dangers? I simply had faith in his skill. And to be honest, there was no other course of action available. Come now, we should head to the bridge. This shall be our moment to shine. Do you have a moment? Authenticating Members Card. The required number of coins to activate the Bridge of Judgment is 100,000 coins. We got that. Now let us through. It seems you worked hard to gather that many coins. I never expected you would make it this far. 
I commend you on your vigorous efforts. However, you will never proceed to the manager's floor ahead. From this moment forward, the number of coins for the bridge will increase to one million coins. What? What? That's not fair! You can't give us an impossible task like that! Oh, you finally understand? That is the point. Your task will forever be impossible. Hence, I will emerge victorious! We had only just barely gotten a hundred thousand coins. She said she would let us through if we had one million coins, yes? In that case, there won't be a problem. You know how to win that many? Not exactly. I already have the requisite coins right here. What? How could that be? Do you remember what we were told at the very beginning? Essentially, we could borrow as many coins from the casino as we already held on our card. Well, yes, but... For example, had we borrowed the max when we had 10,000 coins, we would have ended up with 20,000. And had we then bet on Joker at the Coliseum as a guest, our total would have grown to 460,000. Yes, but you're speaking purely in hypotheticals. That's not what actually happened. Correct. On Joker's card. However, that is not the only card in our possession. You have another card? That's the Taro Tanaka card I told you to get rid of. Exactly. Instead of disposing of it, I secretly used it to gather coins and outsmart this system. 460,000 coins! That means we would have over 500,000 if we add all of our coins together! <laughs> so what? That's still clearly not close to the required total. Actually, once my count reached 460,000, I borrowed the maximum amount a second time. After paying back the original 10,000, I was left with 910,000. Adding Joker's total to that brings us to 1,010,000 coins. We can surely cross the bridge now. Wait, uh, if, if we borrow all them coins... Is there a problem? The manager's room lies ahead. We won't need to worry about coins after this. Or did you honestly intend on paying back such a large sum? Impossible. This can't be! Crow, it's actually a little frightening how sharp you are. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm glad I was able to contribute to our Phantom Thieves' efforts. Now, we should hurry and let the bridge down before she decides to change the rules once again. like this is her base of operations. Perhaps her treasure will appear on that pedestal. A lot has happened, but we managed to get up here. Miss Manager's days are numbered. How on earth of you to think we barge in here? Elegance is necessary for victory as well, you know. <sighs> I entertained you with all of my games, but it appears you are still far from satisfied. Very well. I have made preparations especially for that possibility. This will be a game of life and death from now on. No matter who I face, I shall not lose! Sis... <laughs> Our infiltration route is secure. We need to head back out and send the calling card. And once the calling card is sent, Sai-san's treasure will appear, correct? Yeah. Once the target is cognizant of the danger, that cloudy thing will take shape. I wonder, what will the treasure look like? That depends on the person. 
For Kamoshida, it was a medal. Madarame's was a painting, and Kanashiro's was fake money. Father's was a plastic model. In other words, the treasure is what marked the beginning of the palace ruler's aspirations. Could also be what caused their desires to swell. Thinking about it won't get us anywhere, though. Let's head back and prepare the calling card. Okay. Shoot up. 